Oh, well. Uh, so, Garen matchup is pretty cake. He's got Grasp, so he does quite a bit of damage. Uh, early, but, it, I mean, Trinomir, you outscaled Garen. Garen's too flat of a champion. Too binary. Not mobile enough. Um, this is pretty cake. You outscaled this super hard. There's really no reason you should ever lose this matchup. The key here is to auto E. To auto E. To auto E and you're fine. Every time he goes to Q you, you'll just kind of, you'll kind of, you'll, you'll win that trade basically because he can't follow it up with anything. In retrospect, did you gimp the Nocturne the last game? No, I don't think so. I think um, I think they were just bad. Like the team was just really bad, and I couldn't I couldn't uh, I couldn't afford to die if I grouped up with them. I just needed to if I was gonna if I was gonna make an aggressive move to shut down a team fight or something. I couldn't die because I have to stay alive so that I can split push. So it would have been it probably would have been better to even give up some more objectives before grouping because they were just so terrible. It has nothing to do with taking Nocturne's farm. Alright. So, Garen matchup, Dorn's Blade, uh, Health Pot. And Lethal Tempo. Pretty simple stuff. Same plan as before. If they if they decide to start blue with the Amumu, I'm going to fuck with them level one. I don't think I can kill them, but I think I can fuck with them. What are they doing? What is my team doing? I want to get, I, I do want to fuck with their Amumu level one. As you wish. I don't think they're starting it though. It's good for them that they didn't show with the sword if they did, because I'm not going to mess with them now. I'm just going to leash for my guy. Cool. Is that Garen down there? I didn't even see. Did you guys see a Garen? No, he's there. Okay. Okay, so like I said, auto auto E is the move here. You auto E on this tra every time that you trade. Okay, if he uses his Q like that, then you smack him. If he's not trading damage, then you literally just stay on him. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. So yeah, we this lane's over. He's fucked. And he pushed, so we're gonna slow push now, and he's gonna lose everything. He gonna lose all that shit. He's healing, but it's like super fucking slow, so I'm not too worried about it. It won't really matter if he gets all his health back. He's just playing defensive, so we can't really do anything with the gank. 
Okay. Well, I'm level three and you're level two, so I would love to see how this goes for you. Any flashes? So we're gonna walk him all the way in then. And he's fucked. Five seconds and then he TPs forward. I don't know what this guy was doing. If he doesn't TP quickly, then he's... Unless he was literally at the invade and he's choosing not to TP. Or he, he can't choose not to TP because he doesn't have TP. I'm going to take a plate now because he still hasn't TP'd. Did he have TP? Like, I'm wondering if he was in this invade and then TP'd the top. Like, that's like the only logical explanation that's left. Yeah, he rage quit, I think. He actually just bought it out and rage quit. So we're just going to hard push top. The game theory is pretty cut and dry here. You hard push top. There's an Ezreal mid. He can't rotate. Oh, he didn't rage. What the fuck? I got baited. Oh, I know you don't do damage, Garen. You have no... I don't know why you, uh... Half rage quit there. That was very strange. Wait, now he TPs? Okay, I'm lost. Consider me lost, chat. No, he still just has the door and shield. What a strange game. My question is, do you think Amumu comes back here? Well. Like I said, the game, the game theory is pretty clear. We just push and take all these plates. And then we go mid and take all those plates. This guy is broken, man. We broke Garen. What a noob. He's taken by gold. I'm tilted. This guy just came up and taxed me right quick. Unprovoked. Unprovoked lane tax. Wow, dude. I don't have some, so. This is hilarious right now. Oh 
<laughs> Just watching the mechanics of these guys, like, I don't know. Why do people still play Ezreal, man? It's so, it looks so bad when newbies play Ezreal. I just don't, I don't, I'll never understand it. Well, this is going to be a short game to make up for the loss earlier. I mean, really, it's kind of unfortunate that this guy, like, rage quit. Most Garens will just build armor, just for the record. They'll just build a lot of armor, and then you'll scale and be able to just kind of whack on them, and they can't really trade back into you, and you just kind of push them away. Um, it's a very easy matchup for Trinomir, in my experience. There's really no reason to feel like this is a hard matchup, unless you just don't understand how Garen works. He's pretty simplistic, though. It's pretty easy. It's pretty cut and dry. All right, Mumu, I just saw you Q, so let's throw down, homie. I was gonna say, I don't have ult, so I hope I kill him. Ezreal might ult me, so we'll spin up. Or we'll move up, rather. Uh, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna move Ezreal. Yeah, it could be right there. Did you just E? You just E'd over the wall? I don't know about that, buddy. Yeah, once you see Ezreal E, you basically just have to walk at him as Trindamir in most cases if you're ahead. And you just run him over. He can't do anything about that. So, uh, thinking Rift, <clears throat> looks like bot's winning down there, which is good. We'll push this in. I'll knock down this tower. Actually, I'll probably just go to Rift right away. We can get some plate gold. But Yi might actually get the tower on his own. I might just sprint down to bottom and just... Yeah, I think I will. I gotta literally just run it down to bottom and throw the rift down there so that I can quickly get played. I think it closes, plates close at like four, 14 minutes. You guys lost tower? Holy, and they're down double farm. Of course they are. Not a problem, then. He finally shielded me? What a nice guy. <clears throat> there it is.
I had to go for that vein. Once I'm back that far, I have to dive him. It's probably not even worth diving him. Ah, uh, maybe it is. I don't know. They used everything. What the fuck? What am I watching? The whole thing's a mess, bro. Malzahar should have been top here. There's just so much farm. But they did knock down all the towers. I'm telling you, man. Land fucking hits towers, bro. It's actually, it's actually nuts. I don't know. Are you, you guys saw this, right? We just lost a game because they all like fucking grouped faster than what I'm used to. And I didn't adapt to it. And now they're literally, you seeing this. Look, they took, they took that on their own, bro. They went, they went mid and they're like trying to win, dude. That's so weird. I, I'm not even kidding like they I, I'm not trying to be funny like I legitimately we've seen it multiple sessions now They're worse mechanically, but they f they fucking get a lead dude. They hit the towers dude It's so weird And hey, it's always like people just doing whatever the fuck they want not trying to pressure objectives so These guys are on it Look, there are the four manning dragon over there for some reason. What the fuck? Get him. These kids are straight gaming. This is weird, dude. I feel like I lost because I didn't understand that this is what they do. They just group hard and, and try to press your towers hard. I'm used to NA where they just kind of waddle around randomly for no fucking reason and never try to end a game. I think I need QSS quite yet. I'm gonna take this. Uh, this is guy pinging missing lane phase has been long gone, bro. Oh, well, here's the downside. They group so hard. Maybe I can't get away from them. Maybe that's going to be the tricky part. Maybe I can't make them leave me alone. I don't ward though. So we'll just push mid. I guess this is. I mean, this game is over at whatever level two. That was that was a very bizarre game. Anamumu was so squishy, it was actually crazy.
Fucking Garen, dude. Look at Lulu, dude. Look at Lulu. Look at Lulu, gaming. Look at these kids! Dude, they play to fucking win, dude. Look at them! I'm telling you, dude, it's a phenomenon. No mams, dude. No mams. I don't know what that means. This is actually, this is actually a phenomenon. Like, I'm not even... I can't get enough of it. It's so strange. I, I saw it once yesterday, or, or actually a couple times yesterday, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is like, just coincidence? But now I'm convinced that they actually will, they hit towers, they know. They hit towers, they hit objectives, they don't give a fuck. They may not be good, but I, I do. They want to win. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like mechanically they're playing, they're playing worse mechanically. But they, I've lost because I like, got lazy and didn't realize that they will actually, they will actually group and fucking siege, and like do shit all like on a dime. They'll just all do it. <laughs>